Hello everyone and welcome to another NM Bot Products tutorial. My name is Stacy and today we're going to be uh, sending data from an Arduino to a Raspberry Pi over a USB cable and we're going to take that data and put it into a database. And if you haven't seen my last video on uh, turning your Raspberry Pi into a web server, uh, I'll leave the link below and this is just built off that. Alright, so now that we have our web server up and running, we have our MySQL running, this and that, um, we're going to look at the Arduino sketch. I already have an Arduino hooked up to my Raspberry Pi and uh, it's sending over temperature and humidity and the the code's not important because you're going to be sending over your whatever your own information is. So here in my sketch, I this is how I send it over. I do a serial print and then I print out the temperature. This was in Celsius, so I switched it over to Fahrenheit. And this is important right here, the tab. We're going to remember that. There's a tab after the temperature, then there's humidity, and then another tab here. Alright, and let's take a look and see. It should be sending data over right now. Yep, here's our temperature, here's our humidity. And I think every 10 seconds it will do that. Okay, yep, and now that we know what, what we're getting for data, um, what I did was I set up a database for this. I uh, was testing one two three four five yes I set up a database to collect this and store it and let me see what I did okay when you come in you'll be in here I clicked on databases and then I this is one I made test DB so I put test DB in here created and then I had it, cre and then I made uh, three columns: one for the temperature, one for the humidity, and the first one was for um, just an ID. And that auto incremented. You can pause the video, recreate this if you'd like. Uh, this is our database, test DB, and this is our table, temp DB that we're in right now, and. Let me see. See, here's my my three columns. I got ID, temp, and humidity. And I made, let me see, structure. I wonder if this will show it. Okay, yep. My ID I made into a big int and can't be default. Auto increment. This was my primary key. And then I made uh, temp and humidity, made them doubles. And yes, they could be null just in case I had some problems somewhere. Um, all right, yeah, you just make make the database, make the table like this. And let me see now, what are we gonna do? Oh yes, there are a couple things that we do need to install for packages before we can do this. And I'm not quite sure if we did it in the last video, but Python Serial. We're going to install that. sudo apt get install python and then hyphen serial. Now as you'll see, I've already installed this and I've already tested this out and this is all working. So if you copy everything like we have it here, you'll be doing great. Um, Alright, and then the next thing we need to install is MySQL DB. So, uh, sudo apt get install uh, python MySQL DB. And hit enter. And we already have this installed also. Okay. And once those are installed, we should be all good for that. All we're going to do is run write the Python code to um, uh, catch the information. Whoops, I don't want to do that. 
to catch the information as it comes into the Raspberry Pi and then insert it into the database. So what we're going to do, and this is why we just had to install the packages here. Uh, we're going to import serial, import time, import MySQL DB as MDB. And then you do the, your Arduino equals your serial uh, serial port there that you're going to be communicating on. And the baud rate's 9600. All right, and then down here we're gonna the data is we're gonna read the line, we're gonna sleep second, read the line, and then we're gonna split this up. And this is where I said remember the tabs will come in; they're important. This is where we're gonna split the data because we when we send over the information we did temperature tab, and then we did humidity, and then another tab, and that split up our info there. So and it will I mean it will split up our info right here and then so we assign temperature to the first variable that it gets and then the second one is is going to be for humidity and now down here we just connect to our database and localhost we'll have our database right here on this pi uh, the username is root my password was testing12345 and the database that we're going to be using is testdb and now down here is where we insert. We're going to insert into tempdb, which was the table. And the values are going to be, the first value is going to be nothing. We're not going to put anything in there because that's the auto increment ID. And then we're going to, we're going to put in two variables here afterward, one for temp, one for humidity. And there they are right there, temperature, humidity and then we close out the database alright now what else have I forgotten anything I don't believe so alright so now that we have this all set up and we know that we have we know that we have variables coming over being sent over from the Arduino alright we can close that down we'll close this down and uh, my insert script for the DB that was right in uh, home pi directory so now we're going to go and we're going to run this from the uh, from the terminal here and we're going to do a python uh, dot slash and we're going to do oops notice that one insert db dot py now let's see okay and right here it's telling us incorrect integer value for oh yep but I'm gonna bet that it went in. Now let's see. We're gonna browse. And here I have four of them. Before I had three because I tested this out before. Now if we want to see this do it again. Here we go. And we'll just insert one more. Now we should have five under the ID column. Yep, and that's it. And then now you can create a PHP page or whatever you want to create to uh, display these these values you have now in your database. All right, so the next one's done. Now we should have another one here. There we go, five. Yep, so it's doing good right there. Uh, the only other thing you might want to do, uh, I'm going to do on my project, is I'm going to set up a... a uh, Oh, cron tab uh, for this to run every 20 let's, I'm going to do it for you uh, we're going to run this for every 20 seconds so that we can see it inserting uh, okay cron tab and then hyphen e alright we're going to get down to the bottom 
and we're gonna put in an asterisk we'll do a slash 20 for 20 seconds and then we're gonna do another asterisk 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 and then we're gonna go Python and space slash home slash pi slash insert db dot py all right and that's it control x y enter now let's see i'm not sure if this starts right up or if i'd have to restart the pi but we'll give this we'll give this a, just a few and we'll check it again to see see if anything's coming through so I think every 20 seconds it was going to do it. Okay, we're back. And when I started this up, it did not work. At least I didn't think that it worked. And let me show you why. And we'll fix this. Cron tab. Hyphen E. Alright, here is the line that we put in. And I did a slash, what did I do? 20. And what this actually is, is it was going to run once every 20 minutes. So it appeared like it wasn't working to me. Alright, so I, I trimmed this right down. We're, this is going to run once every minute. And now that I did this, it's working and it's updating every minute. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, now that you can save data into your from your as from your Arduino to your Raspberry Pi, and then put it into a database. That's pretty sweet. You can save that, use that for web pages or whatever else you need to use the information for. But let's take a look, and there should be a bunch of these now. Alright, 14 of them. And I bet if we waited just a little bit longer, we'd probably see the next one come up. But, I don't want to keep you guys in this video too long. Anyway, uh, please like, subscribe, and hope you enjoy this video. And there we go, there's 15. Alright, thank you, that's it for now.